All right, guys, we're back with another road to rank one in 1v1. Uh, we just ended up at 1279 yesterday. Uh, so we're going to continue right where we all left off and uh, see how it goes. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Uh, I do daily videos and uh, do a bunch of custom maps if you haven't seen those before. Uh, but let's get right into it. Hope you guys enjoy. And let's get right into the video. Oh wow, so yeah, we got quite a quite a lower player here. We got Solo Jetix. It's in the uh, 1100s. So already I can tell the kickoff's a little bit weaker. And uh, we got a pretty free goal here. Hoping this isn't too far of a gap here in MMR. There we go. Oh, good 50. Ouch. He'll have low here. I'll just wait for this boost. There it is. I'll go for the double. Boop. Not too bad. So there, I could tell that he couldn't get a catch on the ball fast enough. So I was able to sit the mid boost and just wait for it to come to me. So I spoke with my lawyer and he said that legally I can't show this gameplay on YouTube. Uh, but here's the final score line. Let's get right into the next match. Right, we got Juice AW. I guess he's from Prism, maybe. It's not a not a great kickoff by me, but I do get possession here. So off pretty strong. Hit that lightly so it goes back to me. Should I take this boost? He has to back off for boost now. There we go. i be fast enough. He's going to be stuck in net, so I can get the boost now. I might go on this immediately, so I'm just going to pop it over. There we go. Stay with this. He didn't get the mid boost. Get that awkward for him to save. Probably take an immediate shot here. Not the greatest. Just keep pressure to see what he does on defense. Ooh. And grab some boost pads there. Good flick. He has, the boost, he has the boost control here, so I can't really challenge too aggressively. He's just baiting me. That's fine. That gives me some space. Don't mind that at all. There we go. Let's see if he goes for this or not. It's kind of interesting. I keep thinking he's going to challenge, but he ends up backing off. Not, as, not the cleanest challenge there, or uh, not, not the cleanest catch. And uh, you ended up messing up a little bit too much there. Not the cleanest game at the start, but we're uh, keeping the pressure. We have no saves because we basically had pressure on them the whole time. I'm trying to figure out what boost he wants to go for. He's a little bit conflicted there. We'll yeet that ball. Oh, should we give us a goal? I don't think he expected that pop. I ended up like air rolling a little bit to hit the ball into the floor for a bounce. Right there. And that makes it really difficult to uh, to read what I'm doing. That flick was super high though. There we go. It's a good first kickoff that actually went in my favor. Like I said, this uh, this this uh, series, I'm just going to basically play the games no matter how I'm feeling or whatever. If it doesn't go well, it doesn't go well. He's going to shoot this, I think, maybe. Don't worry him. You know, if I don't if I don't win the games, so be it. <laughs> um, but yeah, just going to see how I feel about ones as I go. It's really unique how you have to play ones now at the high level. Uh, people play really differently to how they did a couple years ago. Uh, it's definitely more mechanical. There we go. Let's see if I can fake this and get a bump. Oh, what a save. Just make it super fast shot so it stays with me here. I just had to put him around him. That's pretty smart of him to sit on that side and wait for that mid, mid touch. Just wait for him here again. 
Throwing the ball away. He might need boost, so he'll go back off. I missed the boost. Should be enough to get over him. Super awkward. There we go. Yeah, so I just... I mean, I missed that mid boost, which wasn't like the worst, but... I ended up baiting him in a little bit too close because I held my flip to the last second. And those, uh, those last second flips can really throw off an opponent because they're not really seeing when you started your jump. There we go. Nice little flick. Um, they don't really see when you start your jump, so it's harder for them to use the muscle memory. Uh, you know, a as a third person, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. So you can, like, usually throw people off if you wait for the very last second to get a flip. Alright, that was a really bad challenge by me. He still holds possession here. So we able to take the boost. He did wave dash really well there to take the to take the uh, the boost before me. All right, here we go. I wanted to make sure I don't waste my positioning there um, with the low boost uh, because if I do, if I like challenge into a ball that. He can get an adv advantage off. I have no way of recovering. So, no point in me trying to flick that towards net, I think, because I need to use the rest of my boost to get under the wall. So, I instead just decide to sit underneath. Try to pop that in a way that I get the boost. If he takes an immediate shot here, I have to be a little bit careful. There we go. Man, I feel like super hyped up right now. I just had coffee. And it feels so weird to play on caffeine. I don't usually drink that much coffee really bad touch. Kept it at least a little safe that I don't get scored on, but at the same time, it was still uh, not the greatest. There we go. Oh, wow, we got end dog. <laughs> it's a totally different day. He's gotten a lot more points. He's at 1330 now. Um, so he's moved up in the ranks quite a bit. It's a good flick. Surprised to find him again today. Uh, but yeah, he's quite much, he's way, way higher now. I think he was like 12.30 last time, so he moved up 100 points. I have to rush to this, get this boost before he takes a shot. See what he does with this. That was a good shot. I didn't expect it to be that powerful. I was thinking about actually just approaching that. I probably should have uh, taken an approach towards the, the ball there. Good kickoff. Get the boost. Let's take my time with this ball here. It's a good challenge. It's not going to be an angle where you can shoot yet. Surprised you got the demo on me instead of the other way around. Not a great start. Hopefully we can get some goals back. Pretty low boost here. To be far enough to get him a goal. I mean, get us a goal, not him. Get him out of position. Pretty good flick to start. So we can start making a comeback here. That's really bad. Try to stay near him. He's gonna just probably defend to the corner here. Yeah. It's okay. Oh, I'm surprised he bought me there. Should be able to stay with it. Oh, he messed up. Yeah, just fast enough too. I'm not sure what happened there. I think his car spun out or something on the side, but ended up getting a goal back. Pretty good for us. These kickoffs are pretty solid. I think I'm going too fast on them. That was really messy. Sloppy by both of us. Oh, that was an awful recovery by me, but I ended up making it work. Pretty good to come back from 0-3. Th I think I'm just going a little bit too fast on these kickoffs because he's canceling them a lot. Yeah, see, that works a lot better. Can't really uh, take the boost. He'll beat me too. He has more momentum. There we go. Pretty recovery. I'm not sure what he did there. He just kind of threw the ball away a little bit too far. I was able to chip it around him. 
I think he was going for a wide chip, but he, he took his car too far from the ball. I was able to uh, make a change up. Ah, oh, that's not good. It's a goal. This game's pretty sloppy. It's just very back and forth. Nothing really too crazy so far. Let's see if we can keep it up, though. Yeah, he's doing some weird change-ups on his kickoff. He had no boost. So I knew he couldn't really chip around it too fast. Let's see if I can get this boost before... There we go. Get this boost as well. I'm going to focus on the boost. I don't think he can take the ball back in time. There we go. He's low. So he wasted all of his boost to try and demo me uh, by going for that corner. Gave me the opening. I think he's trying to loop wider than he was yesterday on, on his kickoffs. I'm not really sure. Can't quite figure it out. It's a good shot. This <laughs> is a super high scoring game. See, it's all on the kickoffs. I think he's gotten four kickoff goals. Yeah. That's really weak. Could take that back in too. It's a really bad uh, approach by him. Could get me a goal too. Yeah, this is just back and forth. This is crazy. I haven't seen this high of a scoring 1v1 game in a while. Halfway through the game. <laughs> 11 goals. I think he messed up his catch on his flick, which uh, gave me enough room to approach uh, his ch uh, the challenge. Wow. I don't know if I'm going to get the boost. This could be bad. Alright, that was pretty good. There we go. Just had to block him. If he went for the pop over me again, it would have been good, but he messed up and... Oh, he gave me the boost, too. Alright, that works. Let's one him out. So we give me enough time to get this boost. Pretty fast-paced games. They're faster than yesterday's. Alright, not the greatest attempt by me. I'm going to back off here, because I want to get this boost. There we go. Should have turned this in, too. Yeah, so I mean, I I'm not really sure what the best strategy is, honestly, in 1v1 nowadays. Like, if you should just stay with the ball the whole time. Or give the opponent space. Because a lot of times, mechanically, people are able to recover on any attack they make. So, attacking early isn't always great, but sometimes I give a little bit too much space in 1v1. I'm trying to make that change. This change up of kickoff is really weird. Keep it low here. Oh, he he approached that really quickly. Should have ring this back with me. Might go for the demo. I missed the boost, but works out. I'll take this back with me again. Hopefully this boost spawns in time. Not quite. Be able to flick that pretty far, get the mid boost. Shoot that top right corner. I just wanted to aim it, aim it top right. It's really hard to deal with that when you're shadowing in defense. Um, if you like hold on to that flip, like I said, uh, get around the ball and then take your shot. That last second change up will probably be difficult to read for the opponent. I think I missed the goal close though. No, I didn't get the pinch. This sucks. There we go. Let's be able to hold on to the time here. It's a good 50 by him. Hopefully I can recover in time. Which I do. Just gonna take it around. I kind of gave that too close to him. But he gave it right back to me. I'm gonna pop it over him in case he goes for the bump. There we go. Trying to bait him in. A little posturing there is just going to make it really difficult for him to make a play. And there we go. Should be the finish. Pretty good games. That felt a lot faster paced than yesterday. Maybe he was just having an off day, but those felt pretty competitive. A lot of open goals from both of us <laughs> and a lot of kickoff goals, but felt pretty uh, pretty intense. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. All right, so we're left off at 13.03. We're pretty close to top 100 already. Uh, like I said yesterday, we were pretty close by 30 points, and now we're only 10 points away. Uh, the top 100 has moved up a bit, 
But it shouldn't take too long to climb up these ranks. Uh, it doesn't seem too far off. Let's see. We're going up here. Yeah, it only, it's only a matter of like 30 points between getting up to like top 60. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch you guys in the next one.